Hello everyone. In this segment, we're going to look at two beautiful pieces of Pueblo pottery. In fact, two of my very favorite pieces in my entire gallery. Uh, both from Zia Pueblo, and I've attributed both of them to a, a wonderful potter named Isabel Medina. These two pieces of pottery are indicative of just the wonder of, of her pottery as an artist, but also show, as we've shown in, in at least one previous segment, the transition from pottery used in Pueblo home to pottery for the art market. We see elements of Isabel Medina's work in both of these pieces. Uh, rather thick uh, potting, beautiful, beautiful construction of, of the jars. They, they sit straight, they're, they're just elegantly formed, uh, rather just delicately flowing mid-body into a very soft shoulder. The paint on both, as you can see in the rainbow bands, and I think both these pieces were, the intention was for them to, to be four colors. Um, the orange came out pretty close to the red, but it's distinctive from, from the red in, in this beautiful piece of pottery. Very clearly the orange distinct from the red, but in both cases, the application of the paint in a very painterly style. It's not thick and heavy, almost watercolor light. Um, and so it, it looks liquid and flowing and beautiful. Uh, an indication of the mastery as a painter of, of, of Isabel. This particular piece made clearly for home use. A lot of handling, a lot of ladle and, and water wear around the rim. I think this piece made about 1910, perhaps earlier in Isabel's career. By 1920, she's part of an emerging art market that includes some of the potters that we've now recognized through the wonderful work of Harlow and Landman in their book, The Pottery of Zia Pueblo. This is a masterwork by Isabel Medina. Not only does it have the beautiful rainbow bands that we've talked about, but it has beautiful pronghorn antelope, unusual in, in pottery, um, dotted speckled bird figures, and they're repeated as we go around the jar four animals. Uh, this piece, a little bit larger than this one, clearly made for the art market. All the application of the paint, uh, consistent, beautiful. The draftsmanship itself, beautiful. An abstract uh, design that's quite complex with multiple design fields, both vertical and circular. These are two wonderful pieces of pottery that we've attributed to Isabel Medina, one of the master potters of the early 20th century.